we're here. And now we get to have a slightly different kind of workout than we normally have. Today's workout is going to be more mobility focused. I'm gonna go ahead and start the Instagram so we can all get going together. Um, so we've talked about the difference between flexibility and mobility before. Uh, can someone tell me the difference between flexibility and mobility, please? Putting you guys on the spot again. I am neither flexible or mobile. Uh, no. <laughs> you can be both. You can be flexible. Oh, you're neither flexible. I thought you said I can either be one or the other. And I was like, no, you can be both. Okay. Yes. That is a very, that is a, if you feel that way, that is, that could be a true statement. Yes. Any other guesses? <laughs> All right, so flexibility is the amount where in which a muscle can lengthen, and mobility is our range of motion in our joints. So flexibility is muscles, mobility is joints. George said flexible is static. Uh, yes, but there can also be active stretches. So you can kind of work through that range as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and flexibility can be increased upon, as can range. So let's start building some flexibility first in our shoulders. Go ahead and start your cycles. And because I'm reaching my arms up and overhead, we would not want to do, so these are not strength-based exercises. These are simply stretches to help us open up our body. So go ahead and find your right hand, take it between your shoulder blades, and start to slide the back of the left hand up your back. Good. And if you can connect the two, great. If not, just keep Pressing your head into that top elbow, growing taller. And we're gonna hold and breathe here. So some of the stuff we're gonna do today is movement and some of the stuff is just holding. Good. Nice. Growing a little taller if you can. And then go ahead and release that side. Other one, take the left hand between the shoulder blades. Slide the back of the right hand up the back. If you can connect it, if not, just keep pressing that top elbow back, opening up the shoulders. I'm gonna re-angle our Instagram a little bit. There we go. Good. So I think this one feels pretty good. Start to open things up. So this is flexibility. I'm opening up tight muscles. All right. And go ahead and release that one. Now, let's work on some mobility for our shoulders. So start to take your arms out to the sides like a T. I'm gonna wrap my right palm up towards the ceiling. And I'm gonna rotate my left palm down and back. So I'm rotating my arms in opposite directions. Try and keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. Twist as much as you can. Twist, twist, twist. Six, five, four, three, two and one. Start to rotate the arms the opposite direction. So I'm working through my range of motion, the joint and my shoulders. Squeeze it out. Six, five, four, three, two. One more set. Rotate the arms opposite directions. Imagine you're wringing out a washcloth. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Ring them out. Keep reaching through the fingertips. Squeeze. It should be intense. Six, five, four, three, Two, go ahead and release it. Move the shoulders around. Okay, another mobility exercise for the shoulders. Bring your arms up. Now, this also builds some strength in our arms and upper body as we're doing these because we're using our muscles to squeeze the arms and get the rotation. So find your right hand, start to drop it down towards the floor. Notice that your elbow stays in line with shoulders. Don't let it sag. And then press the back of the left hand back. So again, I'm rotating my arms in opposite directions. Squeeze it out. Yes, six. Five, four, three, two, without letting the elbows move, rotate on the axis, arms the other direction, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two. One more set, rotate. Give me all you've got. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, rotate, squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two. Awesome. All right. Now, you can either take this next exercise against a wall 
or on the floor, it doesn't matter, but we want a flat surface to keep our spine straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on this wall, but you can do the same thing lying down on your back. So I come up against the wall, and you wanna do this standing, I just have a short wall, so I'm on my knees, keeping my elbows and the backs of my hands in contact with the wall, I wanna reach my arms all the way up, and my wall ends, but you get the idea, and then bend the arms slowly as far down as you can, keeping elbows and fingertips in contact with the wall. Come all the way up. And all the way back down. And if you don't have a wall or you don't want to lie down, you can get the movement. So I'm pressing my elbows back, working through it, slowly as I can, reaching my arms all the way up. Bend into the elbows, squeeze them both back and together, bring them down. This should feel pretty intense if you're doing it right. Good, let's take four more. This is my pace, you can pick yours. Keep pressing the elbows back the whole time. Woo! Nice. Good, shoulders should be starting to burn. Last three. It's slow and arduous at times, but it's how we grow stronger and also build better mobility in our arms, too. And final one, reach them all the way up. Keep pressing the elbows back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Reach, 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 reach. Straight arms. Bend into the elbows. Bring them down behind you. Awesome. Roll it out. Good job. If you're on the floor, we're going to make our way onto hands and knees. If you're standing, we're also going to make our way onto hands and knees. So let's come on down. Move my cup. There we go. All right. So now we're starting to work into the spine. And we're going to bend the spine four different directions today. So first direction, lift your chest, your tailbone. This is called spinal extension. Now pull your belly button into your spine, round the back out. This is called spinal flexion. So keep working through spinal extension, lifting as much as you can, spinal flexion, using the muscles of your core to round as much as you can. And if you want to add breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, flex. Inhale, extend. Exhale, flex. Good, take three more. And as you do this, think about working through each vertebrae, starting with the tailbone, as you come into that movement. These should and could be very slow. Mm -hmm. Then last two. And final one. So this is some very different work than we normally do, but I would say this is just as important for athletic performance, keeping our bodies bendy, keeping them mobile, than anything else we do. So treat this as you would treat a workout. Give it everything you've got and help open your body up. So now we've bent the spine, we've extended the spine, we've flexed the spine, let's rotate the spine. So take your left hand behind your head, Wrap elbow to elbow underneath the body, and then lift your elbow as high up to the left as you can. Yes, bring it under the body. Lift that elbow up as high as you can. Take four more, and I wanna see you lift that elbow up higher and higher each time using your core to help open up the spine. Awesome, good. Now that right arm stays really straight and strong. Try not to let it bend out. Good. And this movement's important for everything, whether you're golfing, you're skiing, you're reaching across the counter to grab coffee. Steve and I filmed a variation of this this morning, and it's one of my favorite spine stretches. Good. Last one. Awesome. Go ahead and release the left hand. And our upper body is working the whole time to keep ourselves stable as we're only working into the spine. So right hand behind the head, wrap elbow to elbow underneath the body. Rotate, twist, open. Even squeeze your glutes. Elbow to elbow, drop it down. 
rotate, open it up. Good, four more. This time keep lifting the right elbow higher and higher. Nice job, Instagram. Awesome job, Zoom. I like it. Mm -hmm. Chris, you're looking pretty mobile. And I just gave away, is this flexibility and mobility? It's mobility, we're working the spine. Good, last one. And go ahead and release the right hand down. Now, let's start to work into some forearm strength while we work on wrist strength and a little bit of mobility. So I call this a fingertip walkout. I make my way onto the tips of my fingers. I don't let my hips move. I walk my hands out and I walk my hands back towards the body on the tips of my fingers the whole time. Walk them out as far as you can. Walk them back in, working the forms, okay? So we've got 40 seconds, two sets. Ready, set, and here we go. Let's walk them out. And walk them back. Try and keep the arms as straight as you can while you're doing this. Nice. And my body isn't moving. Only my arms are moving, but the rest of me stays pretty still. Very bizarre movement, yes. Good for getting into the forearms, as well as building hand and wrist strength. Great. And we do these on our knees because there's really no need to be in plank to do this. We're getting plenty of work as is. Good. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wrist stretch, follow along. So we have our wrist crease, which is the very base of my wrist. I want you to find your left wrist crease and root the back of the hand and the wrist into the floor. So my palm is facing up and it's reaching back towards my knees. Now, if you can get your wrist crease against the floor, start to spread your fingers really wide. So I want the backs of all five fingers touching the floor. Straighten your elbow, and if you can, you can rock backwards and forwards. So this is wrist mobility. The wrists are a baby joint, but they're still a joint. And if you can't get the crease of your wrist down, just keep working towards it. That's a good place to look for opportunity to grow a little bit more mobility. Good, release the left wrist, give it a roll. It's gonna feel really bizarre. That joint does not like to be mobilized, even though it's really good for it. Now, let's work into the right hand. Take the back of the right hand, press into the floor, the wrist crease is down. Good. Once you get your wrist crease down, I'll move my left arm forward so you can see. Spread the fingers so that the backs of all the five are rooted into the floor. Straighten out the right arm. And then if you can, little baby rocks backwards and forwards. And the wider you spread your fingers here, the harder it's going to be, and that's exactly what we want. Good. Go ahead and release the right wrist, give it a roll. Now, question for you to contemplate, we'll discuss it at the end of our upper body set. Why are we stretching our wrists with our hands back like this? Just think about that, okay? Make your way onto your fingertips, stack your hips over your knees, second set, forearm walkouts. Walk them out, walk them back. That's it. Good, and you can make this really fast if you want, as long as you stay on the tips of your fingers the whole time. Keep going. Good, and notice if your butt is shifting backwards and forwards. I want it to stay still. Nice. Good, 15 more seconds. <laughs> bizarre, bizarre specific work. Great. Good, last 10. Good, and go ahead and come on up to sit. Give the wrist a twirl, release them. Roll them out the other way. We have two more exercises here. We're gonna get our heart rate up, and then we're gonna move on to our legs. So my next exercise, I'm gonna come down into a forearm plank, and I'm gonna work my triceps in forearm plank. 
So I come down like so. I extend my left arm back, press, set it down. Right arm back, press up, set it down. So it's the same thing we do in our tricep extension. We're just adding a little bit of extra strength for the shoulders and chest by doing it in forearm plank. If being in forearm plank does not feel stable, you can always do tricep extensions or you can do the forearm plank on your knees, okay? We got two 40 second sets. Let's go ahead and make our way up into forearm plank. We're going to extend one arm back, lift, set it down. Other arm back, lift, set it down. Keep going. And as you lift that arm back, we know how to get into our tricep. Keep the arm really straight. And I only want you to lift that arm two inches. So keep the movement really small. So you have to control the muscle. Instead of just flinging your arm back, you control the tricep up, down, and set it down. So it's a smaller movement. I see a lot of people just throwing their arms back. Yes, that's it. Good. Last 10. Nice, Chris. Good. Perfect, Lily. We have five, four, three, two. Go ahead and drop your belly all the way down onto the mat. And we're going to stretch your spine one more time. So you can either keep the forearms rooted into the floor, or you can press into the floor so much that you lift your chest up, giving the glutes a squeeze to protect the low back. Good. Come on down into forearm plank. Second set, get the hips up and off the floor. We are going. Reach back, lift two inches, set it down. Reach back, little lift, set it down. Good, Jim. Mobility is also how well we can control our bodies. So instead of the flinging the limbs around, we're being very mindful about what we're doing today. Some might even call it kind of torturous and slow. Mm -hmm. 15 more seconds. Oh, Quentin's got a dog. <laughs> Last six, five, beautiful, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to your knees. Let's give the arms a stretch. Clasp the hands behind your back, lengthen the arms down. Now let's work into our flexibility here. So the lengthening of the muscles, little pulses up with your pinky fingers, up, up, as high as you can. Eight, seven, six, my spine stays straight for four, three, two, and one. Release it, our last exercise here. So, when we were doing our shoulders, we used the wall or the imaginary wall to go up and down. We're going to mimic this movement in plank. So I'm going to come into a plank position. I reach my left arm forward. I pull my elbow down. I reach up, set it down. I reach the right arm forward, pull the elbow down, reach forward, set it down. And a nice thing to do to help your balance here is step your feet really wide in your plank position for support. Another option, do this on the hands and knees. Reach, elbow down, squeeze the shoulder blade, up and down. 40 seconds, let's go for it. Come on into your plank. Now, I want these to be slow. Reach an arm really straight. Bend the elbow, squeeze the left side of your back. Reach forward, set it down and switch sides. Slow is the name of the game today. Ooh, looks good. Nice. And as you're doing it, try not to drop your weight over onto one side. So I want to keep my shoulders and my hips facing down to the floor the whole time. Yes. Brilliant. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All I have to say is on this next one, keep doing exactly what you were doing. Those look great, okay? So let's go ahead and make our way up into plank one more time, or you can be on your hands and knees. Ready, set, here we go. Reach forward, bend the elbow, squeeze one side of your shoulder blade. Reach all the way forward, straight arm, set the hand down. Good. Ah, oh, amazing.
Nice. And what we're really working here is we're working our chest, we're working our shoulders, but we're also working the backs of our shoulders, which help with our posture by doing that squeezing motion. So always a good idea to do things to help us stand a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do two more, nice and slow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone drop down onto your forearms. We're gonna do our spinal extension and spinal flexion in our forearms this time. So as you inhale, lift your chest and tailbone. As you exhale, round the spine out. Inhale, spinal extension. Exhale, spinal flexion. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet and roll all the way up to stand. Fantastic. So we are going to get our heart rate up once with our armbands on. The first thing we're going to do is a flexibility and mobility heart rate booster. It's one of my favorite ones. It's the most silly looking dance ever. I go elbow to knee, hand to foot. Elbow to knee, hand to foot. Now, Let's really put some pep in our step and let's get a jump in there. Up, up. So we're doing 30 seconds of that. The next 30 seconds are a windmill pulse. So this is a flexibility one. I reach up, I reach one hand under my foot. Reach, reach, up, switch sides. Reach, reach, up. And I want that extra little pulse in there getting a little bit lower into it, okay? And our last one, our last 30 seconds, is just high knees. Okay, first 30 seconds, elbow to knee, foot to hand in three, two, and one. Here we go, I go up, kick, up, kick. That's the step. And Steve pointed out to me the other day that I'm able to get one of my legs a lot higher than the other. So if you're noticing the same is true for you, you're in good company. Woo, it's a Friday dance, yeah. <laughs> Woo wee! Last 10. Then we're going to windmill pulse in five, four, three, two, and one. Jump up. Reach left hand to right foot. Pulse, pulse, up. Pulse, pulse, up. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Good, keeping a slight engagement of the core the whole time to protect the back as we roll up and down. Yes, 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 yes. Half done. On that reach, get even deeper. Open up the backs of the legs. It's flexibility and mobility day, and we're gonna make the most of it. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, hands down, high knees. Here we go. If you wanna get the arms involved, you can add a punch. <laughs> Maybe add an overhead punch, get into those shoulders, why not? I mean, we're already doing silly looking moves. We might as well make it really silly. Woo! Let's go! I love it. Last 10, give me all you've got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Awesome. Let's go ahead and switch out those bands. Question of the day is a simple one. What's one thing you're doing this weekend that you are most looking forward to? Let me hear what you got. Instagram, feel free to throw any comments in the chat and we can chat. All right, let's stop at our bands, get the legs going. No one, we're not doing anything exciting this weekend? <laughs> Chris says, open water swim, super cool. I've actually never done an open water swim. Someone will have to come to California and have, do that with me. Quentin, playing video games. I like it. Weekends are our time to relax. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you work out hard all the time. I'll give you that one. Being a butler, I'm not so sure, but 
you know, play video games on the weekend. Steve says three in one. What is it? What does it mean? Does Look it mean? above. Oh. oh, 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 I didn't see the other one. Hosting graduation parties for my son. Oh, niece. Another niece. Wow, congratulations. That's a lot of graduations. Jim says Father's Day with daughter and family. Anyone else? All right. What am I most forward to, looking most forward to? Uh, this weekend, I'm going to Ojai, which is a small town north of LA where I live for one night. And then I'm going to spend Father's Day with my boyfriend's family because they live in LA. And I'll celebrate with my dad next weekend, who's in NorCal. You guys forgot about Father's Day? Did y'all forget about Father's Day? Quinn, come on. <laughs> come on. George says, Father's Day with son and daughter-in-law. I like it. We're doing some family time this weekend. All right, leg bands are on. We are going to start our leg day with some standing balance because that is going to be all of the core that we're doing today. So we're going to do it in the beginning and then we're going to stretch our legs a little bit. So it's kind of a weird all over the map day. We're still focusing on smaller muscles before bigger muscles with our strength based exercises, but we're doing a lot of flexibility stuff in between. All right. Cycles are going. If you have not already had a sip of water, please do that. We still want to stay hydrated. So standing balance. Arms out to the sides. We practice getting our feet up to our hands with that kind of core exercise. Now let's practice a little bit more with a slow motion pendulum swing. So for 40 seconds, I'm gonna go up and up, side to side. All right, pretty straightforward, let's do it. I guess it's not straightforward, it's side forward. Good, now my arms, and my upper body move as little as possible. Oh, we didn't talk about the wrists. So the reason, I'll explain while we're doing this, the reason I come onto the backs of my hands, keep going, to stretch them in the wrist mobility is because we spend most of our lives with our hands like this, right? We type, we drive, we text, we do all these things. We rarely ever go like this. So it's important to bend the wrist opposite directions to keep them mobile. Last 10. Good, slow motion. Get those legs as high up as you can. There we go, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax the arms for a second. So that's our move. I don't know how to make this one any harder, except go slower, get your legs higher. If you want to, you can add a pulse. Kick, pulse, set it down. Kick, pulse, set it down. Second set. Here we go. You can either do just a pendulum or you can add a little extra kick at the top. Woo, nice game. And all of this movement should stem from what part of our body will answer when we're done with this set. I gave it away at the beginning. Last 15 seconds, keep going. Keep those arms nice and strong as well. We have 10, Woo. seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So where do I want this movement to come from? Anyone wanna give me a shout? Tell me where. Even though I'm moving my legs, even though my arms are extended out by the sides, where's the origin of all this? Anyone? Okay, fine. Oh, I saw one guess. George says, core, yes. Wonderful, thank you George for coming in today with the answers, I appreciate it. Yes, it all stems from my core. So the more I can control my core, the more my limbs can do crazy things because the movement of every part of our body comes from right here. So that's our standing balance. Let's go ahead and move into some active stretching. Hands across the chest, keeping the legs straight or a little bend in the knees, 40 seconds of good mornings. I hinge forward, flat spine or spinal extension, maybe even a little bend. I rise all the way up. I hinge forward, flat or extended spine, and I come back up, keep going. 
And every time you do this, think about dropping your belly button lower and lower towards the floor and giving your glutes a little squeeze as you rise back up, pressing the hips forward. Yeah. And slow is the name of the game. Ooh, there we go. I like it. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hinge forward and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. Little pulses with a flat back. Get your belly button down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rise on up to stand. Next exercise is the greatest stretch in the world. After that, we're going to get our heart rate up. So for the greatest stretch in the world, I come down into a plank position. I step my left foot outside my left hand. Now focus on getting that foot really up. If you need to kind of hoist it up, do that, but get it all the way up. I drop my left forearm down, reach up for a twist, and step back. Right foot comes outside right hand. I drop that forearm down. Reach up for a twist and step back. So we're gonna do that for a minute. Go ahead and make your way into plank. Good. And here we go, one minute, time starts now. I step my foot outside the hand, drop that inner forearm down, reach the arm up twist, and then come back into plank. Good and see if you can find contact with your forearm and the floor. Yeah, so what are we working on here? When we step that foot up, we're working on opening the hip. When we drop our forearm down, we're also working on opening the hip. Then we get a nice spinal twist and we come back into plank. Greatest stretch in the world. I didn't make that name up. That's what it's actually called. Half done. Mm-hmm, good. Step up. Uh, we've got 15 more seconds. See if you can do one more full round for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press your hips up and back. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come on up to stand. Let's get our heart rate up. 30 seconds, elbow to knee, side kick. Here we go, we go up, kick, up, kick. Keep going, woo! Nice, I'm losing my device, good. Keep it up, keep it up, kick, up, kick. Awesome, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, jump out, get those arms up. Double pulse windmills. I go down. Pulse, pulse, up. Pulse, pulse, up. Side to side. Woo, good. Nice, that's it. Get those fingertips all the way down to the floor. Keep going, keep going. Last eight, seven. After this, high knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Get those knees going. Option to take those arms up. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. If you wanna yell, give me a yell. Go ahead. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Higher knees, come on. Half done. Last 10, give me everything you've got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, now we're ready to build some more strength. Heels up, butt down. I step my feet parallel. I lift my heels up. I drop my butt down as low as I can go. I lift my butt up. 
I drop my heels down. Bonus points if you don't let your heels touch the floor the entire time you're doing this. Heels lift up, butt comes down, we rise up, and we keep going. Down and up, right? 40 seconds. If the butt lowers aren't working for you, just do your heel raises. Let's do it. Try and get your butt all the way to your heels. Nice. Good. Keep going. Whoo! Good. That's 20 seconds. It gets wobbly, but these look great. Mm hmm. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Second set, same thing. Here we go. Time's rolling. Get your heels up, drop your butt down. Lift your butt up. If you want even more of a challenge, arms straight up. Heels up even higher. There we go. Now we're moving. Mm -hmm. Half done. Oh, Chris, you're debunking the statement that you're not flexible or mobile. I'm seeing it in front of my eyes. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Good job. Okay. Let's get the heart rate up a little bit. Then we're gonna come down for our final standing exercise. So we have two more standing things to do. Then we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees and work into the space there. So knowing that, we can give our next few the best we've got. These ones are called, I can't say this without laughing, I love it, bunny hop burpees. Now, before we get kind of like, uh, about the name, they're hard, okay? So I come back into plank position. I jump my feet up between my hands. I give hop, hop, floor, jump back. I jump up, hop, hop, well, I guess you're not really hopping, pulse, pulse, floor, jump back. If you want to make them harder, give me some bunny ears. I jump up, pulse, pulse, floor, jump back. You can always step up and step back, but I want to see those little pulses at the top. I got to make some things up. We got to get creative sometimes, all right? Let's make our way into plank. We're doing one minute of those. That's our last heart rate boost of the day. So let's get it pumping and give me the best you got. One minute, here we go. So I'm in plank, time's going. I either step or hop up, I pulse, pulse, hands down, jump or step back. Up, pulse, pulse, hands down, come back. If these don't burn out the thighs, I don't know what will. And someone, by all means, please tell John Doolittle that we did something called a bunny hop burpee. I know he'll get a kick of that. Now, if you're coming up and you're doing bunny ears, arms are straight. Good, 20 more seconds. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Diane. Woo, keep going, keep going, keep going. Heart's pumping, last 10. We have seven, six, five, four. Go, Lily, yes, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Last standing exercise of the day. We move very slow and we get very low. The Cossack squat. Step the feet really wide. So I love this exercise because I get to strengthen my hip but as you're doing this, you're also stretching the alternate inner thigh. So I bend into the left knee, heels stay rooted the whole time. I get as low as I can. I come back up through center. Bend into the right knee, get low. 
press into the heel, come back up through center. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Now, as I come down, that heel's gonna wanna pop up. Don't let it. Sink the hips down and back and come back up. So I'm also pressing my hips back behind me as I do this so that my spine stays nice and flat and I don't do this just to get my butt down. Keep going side to side. Mm -hmm. Good, now I'm noticing a little bit of spinal rounding. So maybe let's lift our chest up a little bit. We don't wanna slouch over that front leg. Mm-hmm, good, last four. Three, two, and one. Come up to stand, kick it out. Okay. Second set, feet are wide. Other than a tiny bit of slouching, everything looked perfecto. Here we go. Get low, woo, come back up. We're going to the other side. Sometimes my hips will pop a little bit as I do these. That's okay. I'm warming them up. Nice. Keep going. Oh, these are so good. Yes. George, you're going so low. I can only see like from here up, but just see like a little head bobbing up, bobbing down, looks great. Last six, five, four, three. Good, Jim, two and one. Nice, all right. Now let's work into that. Take a really big bend into your left knee. Take your forearms to your thigh and keep pressing your hips back. Not this, straight spine. If you can, take your hands to the floor. If you can, sink your butt down. We're gonna hold it. Mm -hmm. Last 10, getting a big stretch in the inner thigh, adductor muscle. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Come back up through center. Start with both hands on the right thigh. Maybe come onto forearms. Maybe come down with hands. And maybe sink all the way down. <sighs> nice. Breathe, hold, stretch, we got it. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, little baby bend in both knees. Give your hips a rock. Cool. So that's all of our standing work for today. Let's make our way down onto hands and knees. This is a two-part move. It's called fire hydrant to donkey kick. So I'm only working my left leg. I come onto hands and knees. So fire hydrant. I keep my heel pulled into my butt. I lift the knee out to the left. Now notice, my right arm stays really straight. What's gonna happen here is you're gonna do this and you're gonna wanna do that. My hips stay squared off, facing down to the mat, edge of my shoulders. I go out, I go back. I go out, I go back. As I kick back, I keep the bend in my knee, and my core is so strong that I don't sway out my back, okay? So starting with the left leg, 40 seconds, here we go. Kick side, back. Keep pulling your heel in towards your butt the whole time. Side and back. Awesome, keep rolling through it. Making sure that those arms stay straight and strong. So I'm working my outer hip, strengthening and opening it up, and I'm targeting my glute as I kick back into that donkey kick. I like this for glutes because there's not a lot of exercises we can do that work our glutes and not our quads as well. Now, why that matters. The quads are a really big muscle that it's easy to work them. They get a lot of work just in our daily lives. Our glutes, not so much. So when we target the glute, we're giving a spot that doesn't give as much love, a lot of love. Good, five, four, three, two. Now let's work into it. Lift that knee out to the side, little pulses outer edge of the knee, 10, nine, Eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set the knee down. Last one, kick it back. Up and up. Keep pulling your heel in. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Woo, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, quick reset. Draw some circles with the hips over to the left. Bring your butt back and all the way around. Let's take four more. Make them as big as you can. All right, last one. Come back through center. I'm gonna come to face you guys so you can see. All right, let's work into the right leg. I pull my heel into my butt. I kick out, I kick back. I kick side, I kick back. Time is rolling, here we go. Fire hydrant to donkey kick. And I think we all know now why those are called fire hydrants with that little side kick. <laughs> Good. Good, check those arms. Are the elbows straight or are they bending? Are you compensating? Oh, wonderful. Nice. Damn, this is your move. <laughs> I love it. Great. Last 15 seconds. Charles, I can't see you, but keep going. In 10, we're gonna lift the knee out to the side for fire hydrant pulses. We have five, four, Steve, are you there? I think we lost Laurel. See, I see her. Um, oh, we did. Okay. Uh, let's see. She was having internet problems. Yeah. Give her a second. She'll come back. Yeah. Why don't you lead it, Chris? For the oh, until Gina. she. Here she. <laughs> better, better Laurel to lead it than Chris. Yeah. I got kicked out of my own workout. Ah, here we go. My Good. computer was just like, you're done. And it did the spinning wheel of death thing. And then it just booted me right out. I was like, okay, well, that's fine. Sorry. All right. All right. Well, we're on our hands and knees. Our brains are still working. Uh, let's work into our... All right. Can you guys see me now? Are we, are we working? Yeah. What's happening today? My computer's like, it's Friday. We're done, girl. Like, that, that's enough. Okay. Last little bit of work here is we have our hips circled. So start to circle your hips around to the right. That's so funny. I absolutely love Zoom. I think sometimes Zoom is having trouble keeping up with Zoom because Zoom is not just a platform anymore, it's like a way of life. <laughs> Okay, last two. And come back through center. Sorry, Instagram, my computer froze and we all just lost our shit. All right, now let's work into the hips a little bit more. Start to pull your left heel into your butt again, lift the knee off the ground. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We're gonna circle that leg all the way up, around, and back through. So my arms stay straight, and I'm working my knee through a range of motion. Only the leg is doing the work. So it's a combination of the donkey kick. Uh-oh. Okay. There you go. And final one. Let's go ahead and work into the right leg. So I'm gonna bring my leg up and back behind me, open it out to the side, bring it up, around, and through. Good. Arms stay straight and strong. Keep working through it.
Perfect. Mm -hmm. Last two. And one. Can you guys hear me? I don't know what's happening. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> It's just a bizarre day. All right. Now let's take the knees nice and wide. Angle your toes out so that they face the sides. And then start to rock your weight backwards and forwards. So we're coming into frog. Good. Two more. And start to make your way all the way down into your forearms. We're going to march out, lifting alternating feet off the floor. Up and up. Good. Okay, keep going. Awesome. Last three. Two. And one, can you guys still hear me? Yes. Okay, because yeah. everything on my end is completely frozen, but as long as you guys can hear me. All right, make your way onto your palms, keep your knees where they are, and then start to shift your knees together, rock side to side. And let's make our way out of it by tucking our toes under, lifting our hips up and back, Getting a hamstring stretch, pedaling the legs out. And then start to walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold with everything in. And give yourself a rock side to side, shake the head yes. It's the weekend. Shake your head no, no more hip work. And think about spinal mobility here. So one vertebrae at a time, slowly as we can, going all the way up to stand. And once you come up, give the shoulders a roll. Reach the arms up, bring your palms together, and give yourself a round of applause. Good job, everyone. I'm so sorry for the technology issues. I'm not sure what happened, but... I guess Zoom had one heck of a workout this week and was ready to take a pause as well. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome.